Thank you for joining us today on another installment of Frost & Sullivan's exciting podcast series which highlights key disruptive technologies, growth opportunities, economic trends, new business models, industry convergence, emerging geographies and much more. I am Abhishek Ayer, research analyst with the Mobility Research Team and will be talking about the global shared mobility industry and where it is headed towards highlighting key industry trends, emerging markets and opportunity areas for future growth. The global shared mobility industry is evolving at a rapid pace, driven by technology innovation, service innovation, growing investments and partnerships, and the rise of disruptive solutions. Our in-depth research at Frost & Sullivan analyzes the current state of the global mobility industry, leverages historical and latest data, identifies key patterns and shifts in the industry, and ultimately derives the outlook for industry in 2019. The research focuses on evolving business models in the shared mobility space, the need for consolidation and partnerships, and the role played by key stakeholders across the mobility value chain. The study will benefit automotive value chain participants including mobility service providers, OEMs, car rental and leasing companies, investors, technology solution providers, and a host of other industry participants is seeking to understand the current state and future trends in the market and what their implications will be. The trillion dollar global shared mobility industry has been buzzing with the growth of shared mobility services such as e-hailing and car sharing coupled with rapid expansion of innovative business models such as e-scooter sharing, corporate mobility, demand responsive transit services and mobility as a service concepts. The e-hailing market alone is expected to generate revenues of more than $600 billion in 2019, while the overall car sharing market, including traditional, peer-to-peer -peer, and corporate car sharing, is expected to have a cumulative market size of close to $6 billion. As awareness for shared mobility services are growing amongst users, shared mobility companies are focusing more on creating alternative revenue streams such as financial services which include vehicle financing and leasing for shared mobility. A number of OEMs such as Toyota, Ford, Volvo, Porsche and BMW have also launched mobility subscription services especially in North America. Mobility services are also becoming more user-centric through tailored solutions for specific customer segments such as for kids or senior citizens, healthcare services and corporate mobility. Ride-sharing services on the other hand are at the outset of witnessing a surge in growth coming especially from emerging markets such as India. While ride-sharing companies like Scoop and Klaxit are partnering with e-hailing service providers in established markets, other ride-share operators such as Wonder Mobility have gained access to over 2 million users spread across 12 countries. Nascent markets such as Micromobility has witnessed a spurt in growth of e-scooters across regions such as North America and Europe. E-scooters are gaining immense popularity amongst users while the market has also drawn high interest of OEMs and other shared mobility operators as e-scooter startups move towards unicorn valuations. The total fleet size of e-scooters are expected to witness an increase of 126% in 2019. Stiff competition in the shared mobility industry is also creating high barriers to market entry for new players while the industry is witnessing greater consolidation and partnerships amongst existing service providers. Moreover, alarming concerns such as growing pollution and congestion levels in megacities and urban areas are challenging OEMs and service providers to develop more sustainable and eco-friendly mobility options. This is leading to the increasing adoption of electric vehicle fleets across shared mobility platforms and paving way for the greater industry collaboration towards development of holistic and integrated solutions such as mobility as a service. The mass market is expected to witness steep growth in revenues of up to $1 billion in 2019 with a number of providers such as the Wim app by Mass Global and Reach Now from the BMW Daimler joint venture. Mass providers are likely to attract greater opportunities to expand partnerships with local transport authorities and public transit agencies which will aim to bridge the gaps between public and private transport networks and offer highly efficient, unified and intelligent multimodal travel for citizens. The shared mobility industry still has huge opportunities for growth as operators are yet to gain advantage from a largely untapped population in developed and emerging economies. On the other hand, 
mobility business models are advancing at a rapid pace with the inclusion of latest technologies such as artificial intelligence, internet of things and blockchain. The industry is at the outset of making huge leaps towards new forms of mobility through game-changing concepts such as flying taxis which are expected to be rolled out over the next two to four years. A growing web of partnerships and massive investments towards development of autonomous technologies for robo-taxis and autonomous shuttle services also provides a glimpse of the future that lies ahead. These future-oriented concepts offer significant potential to improve traffic, reduce cost of operations, and increase efficiencies while enabling smart automated mobility networks for future smart cities. Countries such as United States, France, Germany, United Kingdom, Australia, Japan and Singapore are supporting autonomous pilots to evaluate viability, user experience and effectiveness to meet the growing transport demands. A number of autonomous shuttle manufacturers and technology providers were seen launching and testing their concepts in 2018 such as EasyMile, Drive.ai, Optimus Ride, Navia and Muji amongst others. The market for Demand Responsive Transit or DRT is also the first to experience the inclusion of autonomous vehicle deployments in the form of driverless shuttles. New business models are also emerging where the DRT concept has been applied to long distance or intercity travel, with a staggering market growth rate of more than 300% expected in 2019. North America, Europe and developed Asia will be key regions for deploying on-demand shuttle services. From an overall industry standpoint, the shared and autonomous industry does face a number of challenges and has a long way to go, but the immense opportunities for growth that lie ahead for the industry far outweigh these challenges. 2019 will be a year of change, collaboration and efforts towards a sustainable future for shared mobility. On that note, I hope you have enjoyed this session. Please join us for future podcasts and become a member of Frost & Sullivan's Leadership Council by emailing us at digital at frost.com. Thank you for your time.